My uh, sister Morgana gave two classes today, and one of the things she said on more than one occasion, uh, as I think Master Baron, Master, 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 him too. In the of the words, you know, there are there are things that must not be forgotten. There are parts of our history that must be told. The society is is a society of younger children. Every three or four years, everything is new again. Um, I cannot believe I wrote this in 1986. <laughs> I really can't. Um, I dedicated it to the kingdom of Kalantir, for only Kalantir could truly understand what Eldermere went through to be born. Um, and I would ask your majesty to remember that this was written about a particular king of the Middle Kingdom who makes both my sister and I break out in hives and has nothing to do with our royalty, but our royalty is truly wonderful. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and we all know it. And I stopped almost toasting them every time. Um, this is a piece of our history, and it will be new to almost all of you. Not me. It's a very old song, um, and it's called "The Hunting of the Wolf." To listen at night while the farmer lies sleeping, the horses they stamp and the cows they do low. The trees bow their heads as the earth is heard weeping. I'll mourn the brave timber wolf dead in the snow. Once proud as a symbol of people united, how loyal her heart and how keen was her eye. To dragon and crown was her loyalty plighted. Why then did the fates order that she must die? No other could rival her strength or her beauty, beloved by all, even Ursus and Hare. There were only two of us back then. <laughs> <laughs> she strove to protect all who lived by the old sea, and none could find reason for her to be where. One night as the moon lit the timber wolf's forest, the king and his council did ride off for sport. They spied the fair wolf and did name her a fine quest, a pox on that king and his unthinking court. Fast did the fleet wolf run o'er hedgerow and barrow, but faster still ran the foam-flecked royal steed. The king himself shot off a fair feathered arrow. No animal living could beat that shaft speed. The arrow struck home, and the wolf fell down dying. No song could be heard but the hunter's harsh breath. Then down fell the snow as the earth started crying. Then all within mourned for the noble wolf's death. Too late did the noble ones rue their decision. Too late for the king to mend what was cast down. How much was then changed by one single omission? Forgetting humility best serves the crown. The bards of the old sea, both rabbit and bruin, did honor her memory with smile and with tear. And so from her ashes rose victory, not ruin. Was hail to the folk who still love. Elder me.